Hi everyone, thanks for joining us here on Cooking with Shotgun Red and we have a great recipe. A lot of you have been asking for crock pot recipes, so today we have a great one for you. And this is easy to make. This is slow cooker Mississippi chicken. We're going to show you how we do it. <music> Sheila said she's been spending lots of time down there in Mississippi. Oh, we have. I, where I'm at in Alabama right now. It's not far from Mississippi. So there's mother and I, we go there uh, at this place called um, Sparks Restaurant. And we go there and we get our salads because she loves these salads and I do too. And we talk about a lot of the recipes and they have got a lot of great recipes in there. Absolutely. And I think one, of, this is one of those. This is one of those great recipes that they do down there. And this is Mississippi chicken. So I'm starting off with our pre-greased crock pot. And we just use a little bit of oil. Now I know some of you like to use liners and that's okay. But if you don't have a crock pot liner, you can just put a little oil in there and pre-grease it. And we're gonna start off with some boneless, skinless thighs. Now you can use any cut that you want, but we're gonna use the boneless, skinless thighs. Because you know, they don't, to me, the thighs don't dry out. They're really good, especially when you're cooking them slow like this. So we're gonna just place these around. That was Steve's um, favorite part of the chicken. I got one more. You think I could fix it, fit it in, Sheila? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Sure. I know, you, I know you can. There we go. There we can go. fit all of those yeah. in there. So once we have our chicken in there, we're going to take our seasoning package. This is the ranch seasoning. You can get, they have the dressing, but they also have just the seasoning, and we like to just use this, this ranch seasoning. And we're just gonna take this and sprinkle. 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 This is so easy, and you know, if you don't, if you just want something that's really simple to, you know, dump and go, this is a good dump and go type of a recipe. Do before you go to work and you come home and dinner is done. Beautiful. And then. And then. And then. I'm reaching underneath you here. Okay. Because Sheila's filming for me here, so you guys can see it up close. Then, if I can get this, I'm like Steve, if I can get this package open, <laughs> if I can get this package open, we have just your au jus gravy mix, and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that. So all your seasoning and everything is all in this, and I'm only going to be using about a half a pack of this because if, if, if you use all of it, I think it gets a little bit too salty. That's just my preference. If you want to use the whole thing, you can, but I'm going to use half that pack. Then we have butter, a whole stick of butter, and we've got them cut into little pats, and we're just going to place those around the chicken. Boy, I really like easy crock pot recipes. I do too. Just like that. Let me save one of those for my toast. <laughs> And we've got a little bit of onion. Now, I like to add the onion. I love the, I love how onion flavors everything also. So I'm adding about a half a chopped onion. And the last thing we're gonna add in this before we start is some pepperoncinis. And you could add as many as you'd like, um, depending on how, if you like that flavor. I love the flavor of pepperoncinis. So we're just gonna place those around the chicken and just also got about a quarter cup of the juice in here. So I'm just gonna kind of put them all around the chicken here and then just pour some of that juice right in there with it. Like I said, I got about a quarter cup that gives it some nice flavor. So look at that. And I'll just kind of, look at, I'm just gonna arrange and make them pretty. Oh, Aww. pretty. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is put the lid on this. All right, so we're just gonna turn our crock pot on and we're gonna program that. I'm gonna do four and a half hours and we're gonna do it on low and start that. And we wanna check that about four hours and make sure we want that internal temp to be at 170 degrees for that chicken. So we're gonna check it about four hours in and see where we're at and we'll be back. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's look at it. Oh, would you look at that? That is so pretty. 
Doesn't that look great? So we checked the internal temperature and it was at 170 degrees. So that is ready to start dishing up. So we're gonna grab our plates and get some of this yummy chicken out of here. Well, I'm ready to try, what about you? I am definitely ready to try this. Doesn't that smell good? It does. You just smell all those flavors in there. I am ready. And this, this chicken is so tender. I mean, it's just, <laughs> when I was testing the, the temperature, it just went right in and it was like, oh yeah. That was easy right here. I know, it's just so tender. Got some rice and some veggies with it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is good. That is a totally different taste. It's just got so much flavor. It's I can't really believe good. how much flavor that ranch and all that does to that chicken. And that is so good. And those That's good. The little pepperoncinis. Yum, yum. You are going to love this. This is like a whole different, this this spices up that chicken. You know, hey, you like, try, what am I going to do with the chicken tonight, you know? Right here. This is so easy, it. it's, so fast. It's falling to pieces. I know, it just falls apart. And it's so good. Wow. Well, as Steve would say. Yeah, he would. He would definitely <laughs> say, is this the best slow cooker Mississippi chicken? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, let's have some more of this. Okay, Mom, you got to try this. This it's is really so good. good. It looks delicious. I mean, it just mm, 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 falls apart. Yummy. Oh, it smells mm. good. Mmm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time, right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.